Heels in the paint. High is Kane. Gives it Good. back to Eliley. Deep on the right side. Hybe reverses it. Left side. And a Whitey's for three on the left wing. You betcha. Whitey's is hit 2 3. With the rule change this year, if you get an offensive rebound under 20, it goes to 20. Driving in, Dark has it deflected out of bounds. Bulldogs keep it with 10 to shoot. Hybe covered by Mitchell. Gets the screen from Mershon. Dribbling behind through the legs up, and that one rolls in. Good from Hybe. Trying to quickly go in. Treckler looked like it was blocked there by Hybe. And fast pace, quicking it up a little bit, looking like the men's team. And Hybe going coast to coast. That's a quick little two points for Sam Hybe. White is going to slow the pace down, try to get it to Hybe. Hybe will work through the offense here on the far side. She'll cut inside with the screen from Verbeek, and it's good. You want your other players to step up, and that's exactly what Elger's doing right now. Elger with eight points in the second half, two threes, and there's Sam Hybe. And Ali, you mentioned you wanted to see her more involved in the second half. Back up to Whitish, who thought about the three. Good skip pass to the wide open Hybe. Knocks it down. Three point in Nebraska up here, 5 2. Shot clock off here at the end of the third quarter. Hybe with it. Hybe with the drive under and got the scoop. Nice drive, a little stutter step by Hybe. One of the most quick, explosive players Nebraska's had in a long time. Just changes gears. Watch how she just gets the defender to stop and even make a lunge. Akinbody James. Whitish in the corner to Hybe. Back at the perimeter to Eliley. Back to Verbeek. Hybe with it now. Drives into the lane. Layup and foul. It gives Nebraska a spark. And Hybe, part of that fantastic recruiting class. Good defense, yes. and we're going to see that throughout the game. This may not be a high-scoring game at all. A three and six record, but they've lost a lot of close games. This is a nice feed from Sam Hybe down low to Kate Kane. 55-50. Over Iowa, Hybe, right side quarter court, uses a Verbeek screen to go to the left elbow. One hand floater goes in for Sam Hybe. She just dribbled Warnock to the floor at the left elbow. A turnover. Julie Ayrault turns it over right to Sam Hybe. Hybe does the rest. On the baseline, you'll see she gets the steal first and foremost. She's looking, always looking how to make the play, but she keeps that ball high. Shot is off by Brunson. Here's the rebound for Hybe. Four on two. Nebraska has numbers. Hybe with the shot and the foul. An opportunity for a three-point play. The Huskers were able to go four on two and attack. Hybe attacked the defender. She had some options there, but the little hesitation recognizes that she's going. Offensive board for the Badgers there. That was a key for Nebraska's team coming in. Sam Hybe in the corner. Buries it. She always seems to be going offensively or defensively. She's very good at making sure she goes to the boards every time. Yeah, as a freshman, averaging nearly five rebounds per game and puts in a couple of points as well this time. Be a weak point in your game, especially as one of the bigs downstairs. You know you're going to get foul. You've got to be able to make those opportunities count from the line. That's a beautiful play there by Sam Hybe. Yeah, absolutely. They started the season 12-1 and one and split each of their last four contests, so really looking to gain some traction here before going back home. Five on the clock. Whitish flips to Hybe. Got an open look. Yeah, good ball movement late in the clock. That last trip down the floor, though. Watch the ball movement even late in the shot clock. Not rushing anything, just taking their time, moving the ball around the perimeter. And that's when you find open shots. Three-pointer knocked down by Sam Hybe. Looks like Nebraska is going to try to roll through with uh, Hybe, kind of being the point of attack. Hybe going from that right side, and that's going to be good. But they have to be creative, the Badgers, in getting the ball to Lewis, because everyone's going to try and make that difficult. And here's Hybe, dangerous in the open floor. And it's sort of a team that has to force, force turnovers against a team like Nebraska. It doesn't turn the ball over a lot, so we'll see that here tonight. Sam Hybe, right back in. She beats Scalia down low. Those easy open three-point looks. Whitish cross court to Lilia over to Hybe now. She wants a three, and she's got it. Sam Hybe for the Husker. 
great skip pass by Hannah Whitish. Uh, Nicia Lally makes the extra pass, which you always like to see, and hits a wide open Sam Hybe. Here's Hybe. It's been a physical game, that's for sure. Hybe blows right past a pair of defenders, gives it off to Kane, and she connects on the layup. The defense absolutely collapsed. Verbeek back to Whitish. Whitish at the three point line. Just seven seconds on the shot clock. She's got to hurry here. Looks to pull up, does pull up from distance. Good. A big three from Sam Hybe. Smith that time off the mark, defended well by Kane. Up top to Verbeek, she scores in transition. Wolf back to her more traditional spot on the block. That's rejected by Kate Kane. Never had a chance, did Abby Wolf right there. Second block of the day for the Nebraska Center. And Sam Hybe going coast to coast. What a finish through traffic. The inbound pass goes to Sam Habe, who's working on Janae Kroom. She drives right hand, just enough on that one to finish. 54%, but a lot of those points are coming from in the paint. She doesn't shoot the ball very much and has yet to shoot a three this year. And there's a Illinois turnover. Back with it comes Sam Hybe to Ashton Verbeek. Long two, they call it a three and it's good. Now Hybe's got an open three and drills it. Driving and finishing. Hybe comes off this screen and Mackenzie Holmes and Brenna Wise didn't communicate well. Double or single coverage, it doesn't matter. She's gonna find a way to score. Ooh, good slip pass there and the finish for Bohr. Love these new uniforms this year with the script Huskers. You see it a lot on Fred Hoiberg's men's team. Deep three, Sam Hybe, early shot clock, you betcha. That was a nice catch by Kate. It was down below the left side of her calf, outside of her leg. She had to catch it with one hand. Now you get a knock away by Scoggin. And it goes in the hands of Kane. Huskers have scored five straight. They trail by one. Hybe goes coast to coast and gives Nebraska the lead. I thought maybe that's what they were going to get it with, was creating space with her head. Here's a screen and roll. Hybe finds Kate Kane who rolls and scores. That's twice from the top of the key. Kate Kane has been found, and she's got four straight. Back inside again, tipped away from Rubin, and it belongs to Nebraska. Sam Hybe, last year's leading scorer for the Huskers. Off the ball screens to look for her shot. She certainly did there. Good dish inside. Strong move by Bella Cravens. After only, I mentioned she played three years there, and she left as the school's leading scorer with over 1,700 points. She misses her first attempt there, but Heidi done miss inside the lane. In rhythm with her feet set, and that's why she's able to get the shot off so quickly is because her feet are already set. Heidi so hard to stop when she's coming down into the lane. Here is Heidi with it. Down to four. Three at the clock. Heidi into the paint is off. Throws it back. Sam Hybe wins it, and Nebraska pulls the upset. By Auto Owners Insurance, Sam Hybe. She off her own miss. Yeah, flips it up and then turns around. How about that? Didn't even look at the rim. Flipped it up off the backboard for the score. This is worth watching again. Splitting the defenders. Didn't have a good first attempt, but she stuck with it. Those offensive rebounds all game long made the difference for the Huskers. Singleton fights. Cravens for it. Coming up with it is Bourne. Huskers coming back the other way. Hybe, secondary break, drives down the right lane line, driving layup. Good, Sam Hybe. Get a layup, but somebody's back there who can defend really well. Garante's lost the ball. Kate Kane has it. Here goes Nebraska. Sam Hybe, one on three, driving a layup for Sam is good. Sam Hybe pulls Nebraska within one. Here's Hybe after Johnson was knocked down for three off the left side of the rim. No, rebound Haley. Hillman last year as Hybe just picks Dilk's pocket in the backcourt. Hybe, Scoggin and Bourne, all well over 30 a contest. Here is Hybe to the baseline. A runner is good to beat the shot clock. She talks, she's loud by her game. So when we're not seeing that, it feels really off. Hybe misses the first shot, drops it off to Kane, and she has her first two of the game. 25 to go in quarter number one. Ohio State beginning to pick up the defensive pressure. Hybe with a nice drive and a little floater in the lane for Sam Hybe. Looking inside for Kane, kicks it back to the open Sam Hybe, and Hybe knocks down a three-pointer. Powell with a long three-pointer, and the rebound is out. Tipped ahead by Sam Hybe in a heads-up play, and Hybe. And at 
the buzzer, draws the foul. What a play by Sam Hybe. With 2.6 seconds left, she had enough time. They're going to take a look at it. But the foul committed. Did she get it out of her hands? Yes, obviously. The red light came around the backboard after it was off the backboard. But the foul is committed. You see the, the knock on the head. But she's able to get it off. And I saw immediately when she stole it. By the way, a turnover on Ephraim. No foul on Hybe. Hybe on the dribble now and calling out the set. Calls her own number and knocks it down. Hybe can get to the basket. She's a slasher, but she can also let it fly from three. That's something she's worked on. Uh, we have seen a lot of turnovers already in this game. Already the third total turnover so far. And there's a jump shot up and good, and that's a three. And Sam Hybe. Cleared by Izzy Bourne. Good to have Izzy Bourne back in your Amy Williams club. She is one of the best players on Nebraska, but laying it in going 94 feet herself with Sam Hybe. And I was wondering when C. Vivian Stringer was going to start to put the 55 on. As the Scarlet Knights call it. Beautiful move inside by Heidi. Pace in this game is something both coaches talked with us about as being critical. And the three up and down for Sam Heidi. Nebraska to shoot, and they've made them pay thus far. Heidi, hard to keep up with a team like Iowa if you're going to get into a track meet. Ball tipped away, and Hybe takes it away. Tracking from behind, Hybe able to get through before Warnock. And a bounce to Sam Hybe. Good pass on the bounce to Kate Kane. Tell you what, already two steals for Veronica Burton. Five steals total, and it feels like she's had a roll in almost every one of it. Kane gets it to go. Penn State by no means out of this game. Absolutely. Plenty of time left to play. And I think both these teams know how much time there is as Sam Hybe. Hybe. Here's the countdown, puts it up in time, and I think that's going to count. Teams trying to battle up in the conference standings. Very clearly good. Yep, definitely is. Gophers. And of course, Hawkeye fans had some uproar about that. She dominates in a lot of statistical categories offensively, but. A big reason, in my opinion, why she's not on that list. Bounce to pass it over to Grace Cumming, who is back in the game and played really well their last outing. Instead, it's a turnover and Hybe all the way over Minnesota. Good offense starts on the defensive side of the ball. The double comes, then Bella Cravens is able to get a tip. Which With a minute 20 to go, Hybe loses it. Shot clock down to two. She's got a heat. Just like she planned it. The bigger the moment, the more Sam Hybe steps up. Kate, and how much is a little step back? This is just a heave. Hybe with the clock awareness. The bank is open. My goodness gracious, Sam Hybe making big time plays against big time opponents. That's the shot of the tournament thus far. Scoggin dribbles out top. Now late shot clock situation. Ivy's going to have to create with two. Long three. Hits the rim. It goes in. You betcha. Sam Ivy's got five in a row. Ivy guarded by the freshman Hodgson. Will take her off the bounce. Steps back from her. Now she'll attack her. Can she finish? Yes, she can. And it counts. And a foul. Sam Ivy on the attack from the left wing. will shoot the end one. Markowski's just reading from the opposite block. When to go and crash. Sam gets the catch with about eight on the left wing and goes to work. And it was good defense by Maine. They were not giving it to her. But once Sam hesitated. The Huskers out rebounding the Panthers 19 to 8. Here's Hybe right down the screen. middle of the lane. She flips it up through the contact and scores. Wild pass from Jones, her first appearance on the floor here today. And that ball is stripped away by Shelley. Here comes Hybe all the way through traffic and scores in transition. Mogensen to initiate looks, looks tripping over Cravens was Molly. She went down, here's a steal. Ivy picked off the inbounds play. It's three on one. Sam drives in, her layup is good. It's nine two. Can't be taken logo shots with 15 seconds on the shot clock this close of a game. Sam Ivy attacking Helgren. That time she gets the roll at a huge moment. The Minnesota native who says she loves playing in this building. She's initiating the contact throughout it, but Hybe is so great at changing speeds, and she 
Williams, the jumper is blocked by Hybe, and she'll grab it the other way, looking to push it. Finds Scoggins for three, and she nails it. Rebound by Markowski off the miss from Bear. Oscar's push in transition, and a lay in by Ruby Porter. Jazz Shelley kicks it back to Hybe. One second on the clock, laid in right at the buzzer by Sam Hybe. It's what all great scorers can do, and Hybe is certainly that. Shelly gets it in, deep right side, Sam Hybe, screen from Izzy Bourne, Sam in the lane, angles in, and it counts, and a foul. Sam Hybe comes in and gets a big basket and a chance at a three-point. As Tamara Farquhar is going to pull it back out with a fresh 20 on the shot clock until Sam Hybe sticks her hand out there and takes it the rest of the way. A really good defense here by Hybe, getting in the passing lane, pushing it out. Here's Hybe on the dribble. Good pass in Sikki's first pass. Izzy Bourne on the cut and the lay-in. She was the one that cut earlier. Watch how she sets a screen and just rolls. She screened Dilk and then just dove to the rim and a terrific pass by Hybe. She doesn't get mentioned enough for how she impacts this Iowa Hawkeyes team. She is just consistent. Strong move to the basket. Well, Sam Hybe trying to create a little something. Hybe with the hesitation and ends the three minute scoring drought for Nebraska. Hybe is one of the best slashers in the league because of her footwork and her ability to use angles, but just that little hesitation. Sam Hybe, look at. Transition buckets for Nebraska. That's what they want to do. You filter into the paint if you want to. Sam Hybe is going to make you pay from the outside. Cravens double teamed, gets it to Hybe. Kicks it out, open look for Widener on the three pointer. Wow. Allison Widener, 10 points in this first half. Um, Lasseter about had the rebound. She got her hand in there, stripped it away, and just fought for it and was able to come down with it. Great take by Sam Hybe, who lays it in and gets the three-point play opportunity. He's able to capitalize on the offensive end with a strong take to the hoop. Stoggin, who looked like she had the open look. Four on the shot clock. Shelly drives in. Out to Hybe. Hybe throws up the three. Got it! Hybe at the horn. Right now, they're trying to spread out the Nebraska defense, but they haven't been able to get those threes to go down. Here is Hybe. She'll take, and Hybe lays it in and draws the foul. 14 points currently. Benson nearly loses. It goes down to get it. Managed to get a pass off of Maryland. Still turns it over anyway. Scoggin the other way. Gives it up to Porter. Trying to go inside to Cravens. Great off-ball movement from Hybe, and that three goes. Great off-ball movement right there from Hybe. Well, Berger doesn't need a ton of space to get that shot off because she shoots the ball at such a high vantage point, making it tough for defenders to block. Good drive by Hybe, and leaves it for Cravens. Hybe guarded by Marisa, over to Shelby. Shelby drives left, high ball screen from Markowski. Skips it to Hybe, she has an open three, and it's good. Down to seven points now. Three seconds on the clock. High B all the way. High B. Strong take to end the half. Gets the board, and here come the Cornhuskers. High B running the floor. Coast to coast. Puts one off. Blast it in. And the foul. 5 2 Cornhuskers. High B is known for taking it in, and she will create any contact that she can get. And she's not one of those versatile players that can play from any position, and that's power four. Ivy drives in the lane, left-handed shot is good, right over Helgren. Impressive shot by the junior, and it's 17-10. It's Nelson inside for Stapleton. She couldn't handle the pass, and Nebraska comes up the other way. It's Ivy. Ivy drives in left. Is One of three Australian players in the Nebraska roster. Ivy diving to the rim and finishing with the left hand. Classic Sam Hybe, she is great on that left side, able to just to get in and finish in tight spaces. 
on senior day nonetheless she's like a good running back lulls you to sleep finds the open gap and boom she is at the rack we were at that shoot around earlier this afternoon and she did participate and it's going to be interesting to see how long she'll be able to go ivy sets her feet knocks down the three the urgency of Nas hillman on that play was amazing right back a three point Sam Hybee doesn't matter if you have two high hands up basketball acumen that's because she displays what she knows on the court Sam Hybee three point play early on right here she is staying intentional she knows it's go time she knows you have to be in it to win it. you can hear the Hawkeye presence as they have taken the lead at 10 Nothing run over the last 130 just ended and broken up. Remains the lead. Sam Hybe up top for the Huskers. Entry pass in the paint. Such a tough pass and catch. And the catch and finish from Izzy Bourne. Welcome back, Izzy Bourne. We're tied up. 34 seconds to play. That's one way to make a statement. In your first game back since December 4th, Izzy Bourne. Tying this game up, 70 all. So Sam Hybe, the veteran, gets in and takes it right at her, knowing how valuable Leah Brown is. And the passing lane is Hybe one on one. Hybe here. 11 minutes of action. I'm gonna smooth that out, Mike. Smooth it. Coming the other way, Hybe again. Back-to-back -back layups for Sam Hybe. Hybe going to work. Gets into the paint up for the layup and she'll get fouled and one! Tight roped along the baseline to be able to keep that ball alive. Sam Hybe snaps her way in and one. Had Harris backpedaling the whole way and was able to get in. Hybe working outside the shoulder. We'll put up a three. On the offensive end, you see that, but then you think, goodness, they are so good defensively. Great drive there by Hybe. Hybe with the bucket here, then a foul was called on Diamond Miller. Hybe leaning in. Another chance at an and one. Sam Hybe. Gabby Marshall off that plays. He's asking about a potential travel. The jump stop keeps her left pivot foot down, and she steps through with that right foot. And Amy Williams really wants to see her get on the boards tonight to, to help her teammates out. Hybe puts it up with the left hand, and it drops through and one. Amazing to watch how smooth she is with the basketball. Puts it on the floor. It really looks effortless when she goes in. She doesn't just explode. You're not too worried about it at this point. Obviously, you don't want to pick up the fourth one very early, but you have to play your game. You can't be too timid. Sam Hybe, right as the shot clock was about to expire. Sam Hybe with the shot clock running down. Creates a little bit of space there with the step back. Drives in, saw Bostic with the double team. Hybe will flip it up with her right hand. And a chance for one more at the free throw line for the veteran guard. Contact with the body, as we see on the replay right here, just gets her hip into Bostic, you know, into, into the defender right there, and is able to flip it up and in for the M1. Good feed from Hybe, and Isabel Bourne completes. Well, you got to pick your poison if you're going to guard Jazz Shelley or you're going to guard Markowski. And she just got to go in with three, see if she can keep it going. We see a quick steal from Nebraska. Hybe brings it down the court, makes the layup, gets the and one call lead for them. The Cornhuskers definitely got to talk to in the halftime speech. And Sam Hybe, the more. Already up by seven. Warnock's pass hits a leg. There's a turnover. Sam Hybe's running. Against Clark. She lays it. So choosing speed with how shifty Jazz Shelley is. Hybe looks to take it herself. Will go with the right hand and delivers it at the end of the first quarter. So the Husker is coming in with a poise and a passion.
And Andy Williams calling for some patience. And that just runs the clock again, keeps the ball out of Northwestern's hands when you're already down 14. The clock will be under 90 seconds after this play. Hybe with the quick crossover. We were joiner just making Nebraska pay when, that once again, the defense collapses down low. Up to a six-point lead for MSU. Hybe, the spin move. 